This is Connor the Cricket. He's one of my ops, so I decided to drop him into an enclosure filled with baby spiders. As you can see, the baby tarantulas are interested in Connor, but are way too small to take down a prey item this size. Ironically, this baby Bafori still latched herself onto Connor's leg, and she's not letting go. Holy crap, another Bafori has just begun attacking the Cricket. Another one. Okay, there's now a total of three scratch that. Four, actually scratch that again. Bruh. Let's say seven spiderlings attacking Connor at the same time. So somehow, these baby Baby tarantulas figured out Connor was too big to fade one on one, so they teamed up together and ambushed the cricket like a feeding frenzy of piranhas. Now, this type of behavior is actually very rare within tarantulas, since spiders are solitary creatures and do not make good roommates or hunting partners. But why is that? Well, it kinda has to do with the fact that the majority of tarantulas will cannibalize on other teas and their own species. So for us to be observing these baby Balfouri coexisting, let alone hunting together, is more spectacular than you guys probably first assumed. Oh! <laughs> Out of absolutely nowhere, the mother Balfouri pounces on the prey item, even though the baby spiders had everything under control. Now, this is actually common behavior for this species, since mother Monocentropus Balfouri are known to feed their children right out of their fang, just like she's doing right here. Now, what would have happened if Miss Balfouri didn't interrupt her children? Would the spiderlings be able to take down Connor the Cricket all by themselves? Well, I needed to know, so I added another one of my ops into a different baby Balfouri enclosure to see what would happen. His name is Gustavo, and as you guys can see, the baby Balfouri are already taking a liking to him. I mean, for God's sakes, one of the baby tarantulas is in the corner, chewing on Gustavo's leg. As the baby spiders nibble on the cricket's insides, Gustavo makes his last attempt at getting away. But his efforts are futile. Within no time, he becomes completely engulfed by this community of baby tarantulas. I'm dying. Help me. And inevitably, this will lead to Gustavo's demise. <clears throat> However, his spirit will continue to live on. Oh. Just kidding, he was a f nah. Bruh.